and then? It wasn't long after we were married that Victor went back to Czechoslovakia. They needed him in Prague, but there the Gestapo were waiting for him. Just a two-line item in the paper, Victor Leslie apprehended, sent to concentration camp. I was frantic. For months I tried to get word. Then it came. He was dead, shot, trying to escape. I was lonely. I had nothing, not even hope. Then I met you. Why weren't you honest with me? Why did you keep your marriage a secret? Oh, it wasn't my secret, Richard. Victor wanted it that way. Not even our closest friends knew about our marriage. That was his way of protecting me. I knew so much about his work, and if the Gestapo found out I was his wife, it would be dangerous for me and, and for those working with us. And when did you first find out he was alive? Just before you and I were to leave Paris together, a friend came and told me that Victor was alive. They were hiding him in a freight car in the outskirts of Paris. He was sick. He needed me. I wanted to tell you, but I, I didn't dare. I knew... I knew you wouldn't have left Paris and the Gestapo would have caught you, so I... Well... Well, you know the rest. <laughs> well, it's still a story without an ending. What about now? Now? I don't know. I know that I'll never have the strength to leave you again. And Laszlo? Oh, you'll help him now, Richard, won't you? You'll see that he gets out. And then he'll have his work, all that he's been living for. All except one. He won't have you. I can't fight it anymore. I ran away from you once. I can't do it again. Oh, I don't know what's right any longer. You have to think for both of us. For all of us. All right, I will. Who's looking at you, kid? I wish I didn't love you so much. I think we love them. Yes. I'm afraid to call some of the others. Come inside. Come, Mr. Lasso. I will help you immediately. Thank you. I will give you some water. Of our meeting, Eric. We escaped in the last moment. Come up here a minute. Yes, I come. I want you to turn out the light in the rear entrance. It might attract the police. But Sasha always puts out the light. Tonight he forgot. Yes, I come. I will do it. I want you to take Miss Lund home. Yes, sir. Just a little cut. We have to get through a window. Oh, this might come in handy. Thank you. Had a close one, eh? Yes, rather. Huh. Don't you sometimes wonder if it's worth all this? I mean, what you're fighting for. We might as well question why we breathe. If we stop breathing, we'll die. If we stop fighting our enemies, the world will die. Now, what of it? It'll be out of its misery. You know how you sound, Monsieur Blaine? Like a man who's trying to convince himself of something he doesn't believe in his heart. Each of us has a destiny, for good or for evil. I get the point. I wonder if you do. I wonder if you know that you're trying to escape from yourself, and that you'll never succeed. You seem to know all about my destiny. I know a good deal more about you than you suspect. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. It's perhaps a strange circumstance that we both should be in love with the same woman. The first evening I came into this cafe, I knew there was something between you and Ilsa. Since no one is to blame, I, I demand no explanation. I ask only one thing. You won't give me the letters of transit. 
All right. But I want my wife to be safe. I ask you as a favor to use the letters to take her away from Casablanca. You love her that much? Apparently you think of me only as a leader of a cause. Well, I'm also a human being. Yes, I love her that much. Monsieur Laszlo? Yes? You'll come with us. We have a warrant for your arrest. On what charge? Captain Renault will discuss that with you later. It seems that destiny has taken a hand. haven't any actual proof, and you know it. This isn't Germany or occupied France. All you can do is find him a few thousand francs and give him 30 days. You might as well let him go now. Ricky, I'd advise you not to be too interested in what happens to Laszlo. If by any chance you were to help him to escape... What makes you think I'd stick my neck out for Laszlo? Because, one, you bet 10,000 francs he'd escape. Two, you got the letters of transit. Now, don't bother to deny it. And, well, you might do it simply because you don't like Strasser's looks. As a matter of fact, I don't like him either. <laughs> Well, they're all excellent reasons. Don't count too much on my friendship, Ricky. In this matter, I'm powerless. Besides, I might lose the 10,000 francs. You're not very subtle, but you are effective. I, I get the point. Yes, I have the letters. But I intend using them myself. I'm leaving Casablanca on tonight's plane, the last plane. Huh? But I'm taking a friend with me, one you'll appreciate. What friend? Ilza Lund. That ought to put your mind to rest about my helping Laszlo escape. The last man I want to see in America. You didn't come here to tell me this. You have the letters of transit. You can fill in your name and hers and leave any time you please. Why are you still interested in what happens to Laszlo? I'm not, but I am interested in what happens to Ilza and me. We have a legal right to go, that's true, but people have been held in Casablanca in spite of their legal rights. What makes you think we want to hold you? Ilza's Laszlo's wife. She probably knows things that Strasser would like to know. Louis, I'll make a deal with you. If instead of this petty charge you have against him, you could get something really big, something that would chuck him in a concentration camp for years, it'd be quite a feather in your cap, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Germany, uh, Vichy, would be very grateful. And then release him. You'll be at my place a half an hour before the plane leaves. I'll arrange to have Laszlo come there to pick up the letters of transit, and that'll give you the criminal grounds on which to make the arrest. You get him, and we get away. To the Germans, that last will be just a minor annoyance. There's still something about this business I don't quite understand. Miss Lund, she's very beautiful, yes. But you were never interested in any woman. Oh, she isn't just any woman. I see. How do I know you'll keep your end of the bargain? I'll make the arrangements right now with Laszlo and the visitor's pen. Ricky, I'm going to miss you. Apparently, you're the only one in Casablanca who has even less scruples than I. Oh, thanks. Go ahead, Ricky. Oh, and by the way, call off your watchdogs when you let them go. I don't want them around this afternoon. I'm taking no chances, Louis, not even with you. Should we draw papers, or is a handshake good enough? Certainly not good enough, but since I'm in a hurry, it'll have to do. Ah, to get out of Casablanca and go to America. You're a lucky man. Well, by the way, my agreement with Sam has always been that he gets 25% of the profits. That still goes. <laughs> I happen to know he gets 10%, but he's worth 25. And Abdul, Carl, and Sasha, they stay with the place where I don't sell. Of course they stay. Ricks wouldn't be Ricks without them. Well, so long. And don't forget you owe Ricks a hundred carton of American cigarettes. I should remember to pay it to myself. <laughs> Thank you.